Okay, everybody, we are back, and I think it's about time we actually start a battle. Now that we got done with all those opening cutscenes. Uh, what was this guy's voice again? Uh, the Resistance is about to engage in its first battle. Let us take the victory this day! As you can see, there are four villages, including the enemy main base at Makhad and the base at Jakhud. Thanks to our earlier planning, the main enemy force is much smaller than it once was, and is not massed nearby. The ruler Etos, Etos, whatever, has no idea that we are ready to attack. Let's take this chance to secure our position in the area. First, send someone to free the village of Ruthom. It's not very far from Jakud. The village is filled with supporters of the resistance. It will be a good foothold from where we can attack. As we free the nearby villages from repressive imperial rule, they will offer us items and money. We need both these things to help build up our force, so we should try to free as many places as possible. Currently, all of our teams are holding position in Jakud. Let's select teams to send in the battle from Jakud and send them to the village of Ruthom. To send the team, uh, I'll go over all this. Finally, move the cursor. Okay, it's time to go to battle. I probably got his voice wrong. But anyway, to win this battle, we gotta free Makhud, and we lose if Yugi's group dies or if our capital base gets taken over. So anyway, here's the main world map. Um, you always start off at a home base basically a, a town or castle or whatever and basically whatever you do you can't let that base get taken away or you lose as well as like it said if Yugi dies if his group is defeated then you lose in order to win I have to capture this territory which uh, as you can see here has two units in the team menu so that means there's two groups of enemies to fight there now if I push the icon button you get a much better view of the whole area uh, and you can kind of see what's going on here but let's just go ahead and select our main city we have three guys to pick from let's pick the Shimon guy and we move him there and we want Yugi to go there and we'll leave that guy there to guard the base. Right now, there's no enemy units doing anything. So we've got a pretty much uh, a clear-cut clear, clear -cut path to our, our cities here. And you can see our little units are moving along the map. Um, based upon the, the type of unit and the type of terrain, you know, like uh, how the Celtic Guardian is walking on the plains right now, um, I don't know, I can't remember what his specialty is, but some monsters can move faster on like forest tiles or whatever, depending on what type they are and you know where they are, also what time of day it is. So anyway, we just freed this town, we got a little bit of money for it, and we captured Ruthum, this place. So it looks like they're still not coming out after us. Um, now another thing, in, in certain levels, uh, I'm doing this off the top of my head so I, I don't like have a guide here, but I know in some places, in certain levels, you can run into wild, like, monsters just by wandering the fields in certain areas, and, uh, if you can, if you can, you want to do that because if you actually win, then they'll join your army, whatever it is that you're fighting. So, uh, it doesn't look like they're going to do anything, so I'm going to go ahead and send my guys out on a little bit of scouting, just in case there are any monsters or anything I can uh, capture. Uh, as long as they don't leave that base, I'm pretty safe. Uh, of course, it's a bad idea if you... Uh, oh, wait. Grrr! Uh, is that... Silver Fang, the wolf 
1200 attack points, I want to say like level 3 card. Might be kind of sad that I actually know that. <laughs> but here we go, our first battle of the game, and it's against a wild silver fang monster. So, like I said in the, the last video, we have, um, you know, HP, which is our health, and then uh, the number of stars determines how many attacks we get per battle. So in this battle, the Celtic Guardian can attack three times, Karibo can attack three times, and which guy was he again? Feral Imp. He can only attack twice, because he has two stars. Now we don't have any like special abilities or anything yet, but we will be gaining those as we gain items and levels. So for now, we can pretty much only just attack. And we did an okay amount of damage there. Karibo, he's uh, well currently he's probably our weakest guy. Uh, sorry, a tiny bit of slowdown. Oh. Um, the good news though is between the last part and, and now I seem to have fixed the, the sound where there was a little bit of like crackling. Uh, I did a little bit of research online to figure out that apparently I need to find a, and download a file to add to, to fix that. So hopefully the sound will be a lot better now. Alright, we got a critical hit. Good job. Okay, Karibo. It's kind of weird that Karibo has a bunch of needles inside of him. He's barely doing any damage either. That's okay. We're going to win. Go, Celtic Guardian! Aw, oh, 17 hit points left. Oh, we are so going to win. Uh, we're taking some damage. Oh man, he got to go twice. Uh, that slowdown is part of the attack, so I can't really do anything about. It. Anyway, another thing I failed to mention: if you press the start bat start button in battle, you can see uh, you have a score against you and your opponent. And if you if everybody runs out of turns and nobody's dead, then whoever has the higher score wins. And uh, the loser gets uh, like paralyzed on the field for a certain amount of time and gets sent backwards. Hey, all right, Karibo, you did something good for once. So we gained a little bit of experience, not quite enough to level up, but we defeated Silverfang, and he joined our army. We can't do anything about that right now, but uh, down the road, that'll be quite useful. Uh, we'll be able to switch out one of these monsters that we choose and throw in Silver Fang. Um, well, since the guy's not doing anything, I'm going to move him to that base. Uh, another important thing to note, whenever you're in a castle town or city or whatever, uh, your guys will slowly recover health. So it's good when they're injured to just send them back to one of the bases and let them recover. Um, another thing is if you're attacking, or I mean if you're getting attacked, like if they're sending their guys out, then the best place you can be is in a town because you get it like a defense bonus. So, we will, we'll let Yugi kind of recover for a bit. Meanwhile, we got, uh, Shimon, our little blue weird guy. We'll send him up there. And we will send him here. Not quite ready to attack just yet. I want to let everyone get in position and then we'll just rush this place. Uh, of course, we can only attack one guy at a time, but still, since there's two guys in the base, I kind of want to... Kind of want to like have one group fight one guy and one group fight the other so that nobody dies if, if we can help it. Um, if one of your monsters dies, you can revive them with items, or, um, I think at the end of the battle, they'll just come back to life. So, it's not like a permanent death, so you don't have to worry about that. Except, of course, if Yugi, if his entire group is wiped out, then it's game over, so. Uh, looks like the Celtic Guardian still has some health to be recovering. 
So, um, let's see, which one of these guys should we send out? We'll send him out first. Move him a little closer. Alright, here we go. It's time to attack the enemy's main base. You cannot defeat an enemy in its main base, a town or castle, simply by fighting better than them. You must force the enemy to flee or defeat all of the enemy's monsters in order to win. It is difficult to defeat an enemy in their stronghold unless you surround them and attack in waves. Be careful not to chase your enemy too far. They might be leading you into a trap. Now, let's go get the enemy! Okay, so yeah, basically, whoever's in a town, even if you get the higher score, then you can't win unless you actually finish them off. Uh, let's see. Now, this is a little more varied. We got three monsters to attack. Um, pretty much any of them is a good choice. So I'm going to go against, what is that, the uh, caterpillar looking thing? I don't remember its name. That's like basic, no, that's not basic insects. That's, uh... Larva Moth, that's right, gosh. Larva Moth, Hitatsumi Giant, and Zaragon. So, yeah, because he has the least amount of HP, he'll probably be the easiest one of the three to kill. And we probably won't be able to finish this battle with one, one guy, so we'll have to fight them multiple times to completely wipe them out. So, in this case, it's best to just focus on one guy at a time. Oh! No, poor penguin soldier. Get him! Cocoon string. Uh, that just looks nasty. Club Scissors! What a weird name for an attack, right? Alright, now it's time for our guy. Carnax Bubble Attack! Ah, uh, he's just barely alive, but Penguin Soldier will finish him off. And done. One down, two to go. Yikes. Hornips kind of taking some beatings. Uh, let's see. The other guy seems to be the weakest, so go after him next. Uh, and by the way, right now since we're all low level, we can pretty much only attack or defend, so there's nothing real fancy that can go on. Uh, if these battles ever tend to drag on too long, I'll speed them up or something. But, you know, we're really early into the game, so at least for a while, I'm going to kind of keep it normal speed or you know, normal uh, video length and stuff. If I have to cut a video in half, which I will try very hard not to, I will try and uh, pick, it, like, a good point in the battle or whatever. Or during the whole mission, if I have to cut the video through time. So anyway, we got the higher score. But uh, we're going to get sent backwards because we didn't finish them off while they're in town. So we will let these guys finish them off and then uh, send the other guy to uh, attack the second f second group. Alright, so now there's only two guys to deal with. Did a good amount of damage there. Go, penguin soldiers! Spin! Spin! So this is a very interesting tactical kind of role-playing game, which is hard to... I mean, like, you wouldn't really expect this from a Yu-Gi-Oh! kind of game. Uh, but they've had all kinds of spin-offs through the years, and this is one of their earlier ones back when they were just trying to figure out different things that they could possibly do for success. Uh, one of their earliest ones I can remember is 
uh, Dungeon Dice Monsters, which I actually thought was a fun game to play. And they really tried hard to make that popular. They, they put anime episodes of it, and uh, they put, uh, they actually made a physical board game of it. And um, they, I, yeah, there was a Game Boy Advance game of it too. Uh, and I remember playing it online, actually. Um, played it online against a few people. So, I mean, they, they were trying hard, but it just wasn't quite up there enough, I guess. Sorry, Duke Devlin, but uh, just not enough people were interested. And then they tried, like, Capsule Monsters. I I'm still a little, like, fuzzy on exactly what the heck is Capsule Monsters. I remember there was, I think, like a PlayStation 2 game of that or something. I played it once a long, long time ago, but I really don't remember it that well. Um, shoot, whatever. Um, I remember a Game Boy Advance game of Yu-Gi-Oh! That was a, um, like a board game, Destiny Board Traveler or some crap. That game was just... Terrible. I, I couldn't stand it. I still don't even understand the rules to it. So, uh, that one was a definite flop. Um, I don't know. There, there was other stuff. I'm just not thinking of many of them. Anyway, Penguin Soldier leveled up. That's nice. Uh, looks like our other group is going to get to finish him off, maybe. Go, Shimon! We haven't seen this group fight yet. But he's only... Oh, this is going to be a quick battle. Go! Ew! That's a nasty looking attack. It's like he farted on him. Now, let me show you my beaver. Boom! Oh! That does a lot of damage. Skull Spark! Really? Skull... I would have thought Skull Spark would look different than that. Uh, and... What is it? Farting on him for the win? No! 10 HP left! Ouch! Just finish him off already! There! You're dead! levels up. Oh yay, Shimon leveled up. Big whoop. Okay. Who the hell? Uh, you insolent runt! Just who do you think you are? Guards! Where are my guards? Uh, I don't have any idea what to voice this guy. You are the last one. Prepare to accept defeat. And this really weird kind of I don't know what to call this kind of voice. Ah, traitors! How dare you revolt against the Empire! I'll take some of you with me before I'm done! Okay, it's time to fight their leader guy. Uh, I have a feeling this is going to be a bit more difficult. Why don't we check out their team? We're fighting against a basic insect, Blackland Fire Dragon, Swordsman from a Foreign Land, well, if you give stop me anything, the swordsman is by far the weakest. Then basic insect, and then black and fire dragon, which originally has I think 1,500 attack points in the actual with the physical card. So uh, we're not gonna do that well. We're we're probably gonna lose the horn imp in this. But we've got Shimon on his way here, and um, see the swordsman just defend it, so we don't want to waste our attacks against somebody defending, they'll take a lot less damage. And if they take zero damage, then they'll continue to defend. So you have to do at least one point of damage to get them out of defending. Or wait for them to make some other action. And we aren't quite strong enough to break their defense, probably. So let's just focus on basic insect. Here we go. No! Oh, quit picking on the horn up, man. Oh, that's weird. Wonder why he decided to guard that turn. 
Dig! Burning a penguin. There's gotta be some kind of law against that. Take that! Ah, uh, we're really dragging on. Maybe I should have sent Yugi's group here after all. Maybe the Celtic Guardian will have healed up enough after this fight to, to send him out. Oh shoot. What's our score at? Eh, uh, yeah. Oh no, not the Penguin Soldier! No! Uh, he still had two whole turns he could have used. Well, let's at least avenge him. Boom. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, that's so mean. One HP. Well, at least we got rid of one guy. Yay, we leveled up. Joy. That felt like a more of a defeat than a victory. Uh, Yugi's still kind of healing, but uh, we'll have Shimon do his thing here. Oh, shoot, we're already up to over 21 minutes here. I'll, I'll try and I'll try and be faster as we go along. Uh, let's see. We'll go kill the swordsman. Gee, really need to replace that monster because he sucks. All right, he missed. Ugh. Beaver warrior. Come on, we can do this. Just need to take him out real quick. Uh, they're going to get at least one more turn with him. Unless I critical hit, maybe? No. Sorry. Oh, wait. Maybe I can beat him before he gets a turn. Yay! Now it's just him. Just the dragon. Uh, that guy's almost dead. Now we just have one really powerful dragon to fight. Oh, I just remembered another thing they did. They tried, um, what was it? From Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses, where they had this weird... That was a weird game. I don't know how to, how to even describe that. There. Yugi is on his way while we have Shimon have a, a second attack. Boy, that was an interesting game though. Uh, Duelist of the Roses. It... Ah, man, it's still hard to describe. You, you walk around on this weird field with your, like, deck master. And you send your cards along, like, a grid battlefield. It's just one of those weird kind of they were very innovative uh, I'll give them that nowadays with Yu-Gi-Oh uh, I haven't really seen anything new outside of the cart recently at least not since that uh, wheelie breakers crap where they tried mixing dueling on motorcycles and and uh, racing like, what the hell man Are we gonna win? We didn't need to send Yugi? I guess so. We lost one guy, but still. And we leveled up. And as you can see, when you level up, your health and attack and defense all go up a little bit. And sometimes some of your other stuff goes up too, like uh, your the number of stars you have, for example, might go up. Uh, you might gain some abilities and so, so forth. Uh, let's see. A splendid first victory, Lord Yugi. 
Our actions here have stirred the people in these lands to fight back against the Empire. The noble families in the area are offering to assist us financially. If we continue to win like this, the resistance should grow nicely. The Empire is confused right now, but it's only temporary. They'll soon send units to hunt us down. Let us take this opportunity to secure our positions and fight off the enemy. Now, it is time for you to make an appearance, Lord Yuki. The people want to meet their savior. Yay! Blackman Fire Dragon has joined my army. And we won a bunch of money and a few items. But uh, we will go over all that soon enough. Fury of the Empire. Yugi's resistance army decides to undertake its next mission before the Empire strikes back in Star Wars Episode 5. With Sugnok, whatever, confused about what dude to, that's weird, the resistance plans to free a forge, a large, gosh, I can't read, large agricultural village in the south. Our success in freeing the Makhat area has strengthened the determination of the resistance. Let us strike the sh shore stores of the Imperial forces while morale is high. We can cut them off from their supplies. The southern part of the island is mostly farmland. The Empire works most of the farmers like slaves. If we can free this area, all supplies to Sugnat will be cut off and will gain a significant advantage. However, General Sub Subetical, one of the fiercest generals in the regular Imperial army, appears to be in the area. Sabetical is a dangerous foe, well known for his ferocity. I don't believe he has a large force with him, but we should still be careful not to make any mistakes. That reminds me, I believe we received some items. Blah blah blah, tutorial. I'll go over that later. Anyway, we are way over time. I will see you guys next time where we continue the the war. So, once again, thanks for viewing, and uh, see you soon.